good morning to you, mon petit bonbons. I'm saying good morning. I don't know what time of day I'm going to upload this. Could be evening. Good whatever time it is for you, wherever you are. Um, I thought I'd film a day in the life today because I'm having quite an exciting day. I am off to London and I'm going to go and see someone who I know that most of you love and the ones that don't love him I think just don't know him yet um, but if you've been on the internet a while you will know who he is I'll let you I say I'll let you have a guess it's probably in the title and the thumbnail I'll for sure if I can pop him in the thumbnail get those sweet sweet views um, and then I'm going to uh, a party an actual party so Charlotte Bell Tobin from Bell PR who I work with is having her end of summer soiree party and so I'm going there afterwards and I just thought I'm going to film this, I'm going to have the memes for it, pop it on YouTube um, because a lot of my content lately has been homey stuff. I'm just putting quite a lot of dry shampoo in my hair because it needs it um, and I'm just going to create the illusion of fresh lustrous hair. Um, yes, a lot of my content lately has been really homey content so I thought it'd be nice to have some like glitzy and ritzy vibes it'd be nice to see Dan spoiler it's Dan <laughs> it's Dan Howell um because I haven't seen him for ages and also I don't often film when I'm with him because you know when you see your friends you don't always want to like whip a camera out in their face except today that's exactly what I'm going to do just gonna be like hi here's my camera it'd be like the olden days like playlist and vidcon days um, we are doing something for his channel, I think it's his channel, he's got a new project going um, and I'm filming with him for that and we're going to be doing like parenting tips, um, that's kind of the premise, we'll see how it goes, I don't know if it will stick to that or if it will meander, um, but that's what we're doing there. Uh, what else I need to tell you in the intro? Nothing really, that's it. Welcome, come one, come all. Leave a friendly comment, you're all welcome here, unless you're a bad egg, in which case, um, don't do that, because that's not very nice. Again, do you know what I would like to ask you? What hairstyle can I do with my hair? It's long and it's thick, that's what she said. Um, that's what she wished she was saying. And I never really know what to do with it. I don't like to have it just down, because it quickly just feels a bit like claustrophobic in my face. And for years I've been doing the just have this little bit and just pull that there and have a big old fringe going on mm -mm. or I'll do half hair up but has anyone got any other ideas because I've been doing those for like 10 years now <laughs> I feel like it's time for something new um, and I'd be grateful for any help. Thank you very much my style gurus. Old habits die hard and I have done the little pin it up. I'm going to show you now the best hairspray you will ever use in your life. I'm not sponsored by this hairspray brand, I'm just showing you it. Is it focusing? Yes it is. It's the Schwarzkopf's Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. I use this for the girls for dance and they could throw themselves around, throw themselves around a dance studio all morning and they would still come out perfect. Look at all these little wispy bits. Wait for this. Don't film me now, I'm filming. Good day to you, good day to you. And then what I also do is I also kind of like spray it up in the hair to like give the hair body, like see? Oh hey, that's just half and then I'll try and do it on the fringe as well. I don't know how to film this week because usually I just look in the mirror. So I kind of hold it there and then I just go like that and then I'll just do the old spray it up, step away to take a breath of clean air as that is. Does my hair feel crispy like an old Barbie doll right now? Yeah, it does a bit. But do I feel like I look great? Yes. Don't burst my bubble if you don't agree with me. It's okay if you don't, but don't tell me. Um, but just top tip, I buy it on Amazon. I actually buy it in packs of 12 little ones so that all the girls have got them in their dance bags and got them all over the place, handbags, etc. But you can get the big, the big, the big doodles as well. Things have taken a pretty disastrous turn. I've ran out of time to eat, which is a disaster. 
Um, it's, it's at nine minutes past one and I'm being picked up at half past one and I won't get to Dan's until half three and <clears throat> I need to eat something but the car that's picking me up is not my normal person because my normal person is on a holiday and the person who's picking me up is like very upmarket. My normal person is very upmarket as well. Nick, if you're watching, you're the best. Um, Nick from Driven Miles, if ever you need a car and you're in my area, Nick, Driven Miles, little plug from there. Um, basically, I don't know if it's okay to eat in the other car, I don't like to ask because I'm socially awkward. Um, so I thought, it's okay, I can take a little pat lunch and take it and eat it at dance, but I'm gonna be, I'm hungry now, I'm gonna be so hungry by half three. Um, so I put an oven in the pizza. No, I didn't put an oven in the <laughs> pizza in the oven and it's not going to be ready on time. So I thought, right, well, I've committed to this freaking oven pizza now. So I'm going to have to take it with me <laughs> to the shoot. I'm taking a freaking oven pizza with me to the shoot. But then I thought, if I'm going to take an oven pizza, I'm going to do this properly. So I'm just mixing myself up a little like Dijon mustard dip situation here. I'm going to take that. Um, I'm going to take a tea towel with me so I can put it over my lap nicely. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit like stressed about this, but stressed in like a jolly way, if that's such a thing. Um, so yeah, you might be thinking, why don't you just like make yourself some toast or something? Well, yeah, but by that point I've committed to the pizza thinking I'd have time to like snaffle down some slices. So we are where we are. <laughs> We're making it work. Will I be hungry in the car? Yes, but I'll take a drink and I'll just like drink a lot. Then I'll be bursting for a wee. It's a good job it's a shoot with a friend because I have messaged him to say, I'm very distressed about this whole scenario. He said, this is a no judgment zone. So I hope they won't judge my oven pizza. I just wanted to take a minute to appreciate this oven pizza. This is like an elite oven pizza. If there was a ranking of oven pizzas, this would, this would rank very highly. Just writing my family a little letter because I won't be here tonight when they get in. Okay, I've arrived at my top secret destination. Let's see if I can find them. So I've arrived and whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to have my pizza, aren't I? Yes, I am. So I thought that I was going to come and film with Dan today, but I got lucky. Look who's actually Surprise here. Phil. It's the best one. I mean, it's who's Phil. Who's talking <laughs> shit? Hello? Here he is. Hello? Here he is. Oh, this what is did terrible you say? lighting for all of oh. us. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. The mirror there. oh yeah. no. Hey. Wait, hold still. This will be the thumbnail. Oh. Thank you. Just having a normal, so authentic now. moment. Just so authentic. normal, authentic. <laughs> Just freezing. Um, so what are we doing here today? Um, I am doing a... Well, I'm just ready for questions. Oh my God. <laughs> what am You're I doing? not used to this anymore. Who am I? Um, Who am I? I quit YouTube. Slid into. Well, you, yeah. No, you quit it, then you made like a really um, very rude to YouTube video, which I appreciated. Yes. And then. Now I'm doing also, a show okay, about back. what someone who quit YouTube would do when they hate everything about it. Yeah. And I invited Louise to be a special guest. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't um, get the memo because you've got colour in your outfit. Yeah, no, barely you any for me. This is barely that any. Is, I, I think Thank that's, you. This I appreciate is you so meeting dark me where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to wear pink, obviously. <gasps> Oof. That would and clash. look, neutral. Have you I'm ever seen neutral. my lips so neutral? That is true. I've got a neutral. You on. turned it down for me. Thank you. Oh, and wow, the green goes with your eyes, though. Look at you yes. going. Can you give a hint about what you're doing? Um, it's babies. finally my turn making to be a daddy. Some babies. Me. That's We're making me. some babies. Only fans. Yeah, I Hell am yeah. so Phil, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phil. I said I looked Louise I in the eyes and I said I like if you. If you don't and... like the video, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if you don't support on. Louise's Instagram, we will be on OnlyFans. Yeah, fans, because I am okay? <laughs> sliding yeah. into irrelevancy on YouTube, so I do need all the support yes. you get. But earlier, Phil said to me, I, I looked her in the eyes. I said I like. So it. deep in the eyes. I like it when you have a. Dark... <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you have a dark sense of humour and you're a bit dirt. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You said. That. What you said. said, That's you what... said I like it when you get dark and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> All I was saying is I oh like. God, someone else is going to have to You like Louise this. when she's uncensored, is uh, what yeah. you're trying to I say. I like Louise But after you dark. accidentally went up to a nice lady and you said, I like it when you're dark and dirty. Dark and dirty. <laughs> 
I like it when it's I dark like it and dark and dirty. This is terrible. What's wrong with your arm? I don't know. I don't vlog. He's supposed to be a professional there YouTuber. What the heck is happening? There's the angle. You started it. You were there first. I know. I was the original. You were the granddaddy. I made the website. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone who wants to successfully raise a family, do not God, watch the video. So what is wrong with you? you? I'm trying to be arty. No, there we go. Stand still. Right, there we go. I'm not arty. Right. So anyone who wants to successfully raise a family, do not watch the video that I'm about to film with Louise. But if you do want to successfully raise a family, some of my videos are actually, actually successful life channel. I filmed yeah. myself giving birth, if you're interested in that. The camera's right Have up there. That? And that was dark and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Did you do a little poo? No, I didn't actually. Oh, didn't. And I thought genuinely I would. Yeah, no, no um, You did eat the placenta though. Yeah, I did. That's another That's another, that's another whole thing. Cause... Oh, we'll get on to that. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, thanks for the hot. Bye. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I'm gonna put it on. So, Phil. <laughs> Phil, you saw Hi. Jack Howard last night. I did. Right. Oh, this is your horribly backlit. So, in a way, it's better because you're sort good. of. Don't look it looks good. almost artistic. Right, I've zoomed right. in times 3.3. This is going to look horrible. No. Close it next to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know, it looks, it looks... No, I don't want to be horribly lit in this whole thing. <laughs> Zoom out of my face. Oh, right. Better. Oh, yeah, it's nice. I was just basically saying that whenever <laughs> I meet another human, I'm not very good at saying words. <laughs> You're trying. So, oh, look, hang on. Yeah. Here, look. Hello. Nope, too low, yeah. too low. Put it on the... That yes. Was a toilet roll. Nice, <laughs> nice. Everywhere. So I've got this idea for a reel, and I don't know how to like make it sound snappy. And I was like, oh, how do I make it sound better than? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. And then Phil was like, yeah, I always do that. Yes. Um, he said I saw Jack Howard last night, and the first thing he said to him was, I said, wow. Wait, I said just the first bit, which is okay. I said, wow, great mustache. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Stop there. Stop. Because <laughs> then I said, no, Phil, no. <laughs> Just stop it. Why? Straight mustache. First thing I said to him. How old are you? Old. Are you gonna? Oh, is it a secret? No, it's not a secret. Are you older than me? No, I'm thirty. I don't, don't know. Thirty say... something. Thirty three. No, God, no, no. Thirty four. I think I'm thirty three. No, I'm thirty four. <laughs> you can't forget after a certain age. You do. You reach a point where you yeah. just stop trying, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I don't Glad to be alive. I don't know what's happening. Just glad. To... I'm I am. thirty seven, which I would still consider mid. -30s. I'd say you look twenty seven. It's a lot of Botox. I know. It's a lot of Botox. How old do you think I look? It's a dangerous question. <laughs> I mean, you know how old I am, so but if you saw me out and about, what? how old would you think? Go low. I'm, I'm not offended, just be honest. 29. 29? Really? I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. John. End it. The toilets where I'm filming today have things, have, it's one of those up here. Here is Dan on set, ready to rock and maybe roll. Hello, there's a creepy lady filming me. How rude. How, I'll, oh, I'll, get not, out, get I'll out. not be on your show. Get out of here. I'm not going to be on his show. He's not even paying me for this. Is he paying you for this? No. I pay you in pizza. True. What, what do you pay me in? Attention. Attention? I feel the only one that speaks to me. I send you two DMs. Do you know how much? Two like, whole DMs. Only to ask me to come down and be on your show. Exactly. You send me voice memos. Do you know how inconsiderate that is to someone with crippling anxiety? <laughs> he I does. I was in a taxi, and you said, "Can we do voice memos?" You love a voice memo. I love voice memos. I love. Although it. sometimes I play your voice memos to Dan because they're funny, so he does interact with you through his ears. Exactly. Oh, thank you. It's very gracious of you. Yeah. It's a weird way to put it. Phil's the I better know. friend. I interact with these via my ears. You do. It sounds like I rub my ears on it. Rub your ears. On our good. Oh, I've had okay. three coffee. We're heading off now. Goodbye, Phil. This is goodbye. our fake goodbye. Fake goodbye. Oh god, I put my oh, sorry, oh, I just put right. my hand in the just put a okay. secret in my eye. Oh, god. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Doing a fake goodbye for the camera. Goodbye on the camera. Goodbye on camera. Goodbye on camera. <laughs> so I'm in a lift up to the first floor of the W Hotel on Wardle Street. Which way is it gonna open? This way or that way? Okay. Jersey. You're looking lovely. You're looking lovely. There's Charlotte. There's all. Hello. Yes, please. So here's Charlotte Beltobin. This is your party to celebrate another successful year in business. Cheers. You are the best PR in London, if not the world. Congrats. 
thanks to you. Put that on the website. Yeah. <laughs> Always PRing. <laughs> so I'm here with Lowe, one of the best makeup artists in the world. Why, thank you. Lowe, look at this. It's a nude lip. It's a nude lip. I nearly passed out. I was like, who are you? Because are I'm you a, Louise? I'm a candy yum yum gal. She is. <laughs> Everybody, there's Dom Smales over there, my lovely Dom, and then there's this massive seating area. I don't understand why we haven't spread onto this because this looks amazing. And then if I take you up there, the world's biggest disco ball that you've ever seen in your life, surely. If you've seen a bigger one, let me know. And I have just bought myself a diet coke. They have lots of really nice cocktails and prosecco all going around. But I thought, just want something wet, you know? I've had a lot of prosecco, and I want to put something wet in my mouth. I know how that sounds. I packed quite a lot of proseccos and cocktails, which are all lovely. I just thought I want something wet, so I bought a cheeky diet coat. Um, I'm going to check through my phone. What time are we on? One sec. Oh look, that's what time we're on, um, and that's your update. Okay, I feel refreshed from my little diet coat, and I'm going to rejoin. changed into my sensible shoes, got my bags, I'm heading home to my babies, although my babies will definitely be asleep, but I'm heading home. That is what is just outside of the building that I was in, so I was in there, and there's Chinatown right there, how lovely. What street is this? This is Regent Street, isn't Regent it? Street, yeah. Regent Street, it's beautiful. It's lovely when the Christmas decoration. Yeah, it's so nice. And I'm home, it is. Not 32, half past 12, I think you would normally call that. Um, is this going to gross you out if I pull these off? Oh, oh, that feels so good. It's the facial equivalent of taking your bra off at the end of the night. Here you go, is that in shot? No. Is that in shot? Oh, yeah. That felt real good. You know what? You know these lashes? These are Ilo. Oops. Um, don't throw them away. You can just reuse these. Give them a little wipe. They're absolutely good to go. So don't, they're not one use only things. You get a lot of uses out of those. Right. Well, that has been a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. Um, it was nice to go down to London. It was so nice to see Phil. I didn't think I was going to see Phil today. It was lovely to see Dan. Dan's video will be out in November. And I will say... His humour pushed me to the limits in this one. Um, it's got a very dark sense of humour, <laughs> which I also can have a dark sense of humour, but it really pushed me. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, and then I'm just trying to take my dress off with one hand. I don't know how I'm going to get this dress off tonight. I might have to, like can talk to myself um and then charlotte's i can't do it charlotte's party was lovely so glitzy so ritzy so charlotte beltobin um she is maybe the most ritzy person i know and it was lovely to see everyone and catch up um and then the drive back was good as well um i didn't drive um obviously um but you know it was a smooth drive back freaked myself out then i was like what's that what's that there on the counter it was the shadow of this Lemon heck. Right, um, I don't think I've got anything else of any use to say to you other than I hope you've enjoyed just a little vlog and I love you lots and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.